Good morning. I wasn't sleeping. Who am I kidding? People are asking, how do you eat for type 1 diabetes when you are in Peru? Are you going to still try and do keto? Yes, I absolutely can eat keto. It is not easy to eat keto in the jungle, let me just tell you. But if you can do it there, you can do it anywhere. That's my luggage right there. I need to check out of this hotel. But as soon as I do that, I'm going to show you how to check for ketones, how to check your blood sugar, what is good ketones, what is bad ketones, what's, what's like meh ketones. There's no such thing. You know how when you see like a really cool room, you're like, wow, they must have a nice studio. No, it's just a, there's a, it's a pool table here in the middle of this room off the side. I have nobody who's here, so I decided to do this. How do you know if you're in ketosis? and ketosis is not ketoacidosis. Those are two totally different things, but you still need to check your ketones. There's a couple ways you can do it. You need ketone test strips, ketone meter. You need to be able to test your ketones, and you need your regular glucometer. If your blood glucose gets too high and you are in ketosis, that's not good. That's how ketoacidosis happens. So you've got to keep your blood sugar levels in check. I'm going to check mine really fast. Burp, burp. The next thing you need to do is check for ketones. You basically prick your finger, uh, put a blood sample on there, but your, your meter needs to be testing for ketones, not just blood glucose. You can tell by the quality of this video that no one's paying for this. So the meter that I have is by Keto Mojo. Their meter will test for blood glucose and ketones. Where do you want your numbers to be? Anything above a 1.0 and below a 3.0 is like, is perfect. It's absolute gold. Anything over that range, you start getting a little dicey. It's too many ketones. That's what a ketone uh, test strip looks like. Ow, ow. It takes longer, it takes about 10 seconds for one of these meters, and it takes a lot more blood than normal. My ketones are at 3.0, which is perfect right now. There's another way that you can check quickly, and that is your good old fashioned pee test strips. I'm gonna go pee on all these. You wanna make sure that you are in range, okay? That's how that works. I went and, uh, and I peed all over this thing. That sounds weird to say. I'm in the moderate range, which is great. Hi, hey, good morning. How's it going? Uh, these guys heard me yelling about urinating on everything. You just wanna make sure that your ketones are at a good level, but your blood glucose has got to be good. Because if your blood glucose gets too high and your ketones are high, you guys know that's a recipe for disaster. Am I gonna eat keto in the jungle? Yes, I take a lot of MCT oil, I take a lot of different bars and supplements, things like that, in case I can't get to food anymore. Hey, how's it going? Couple guys on a business trip over there. That's incredible. I've picked the wrong location to do this. The same thing would be like, if you're trying to eat gluten-free on a mission trip, it's really difficult. It is not easy to do. If you're allergic to dairy, if, if you're allergic to eggs, if you're allergic to people like me, you just, it's it's tricky. You, you need to, you need to plan really well. Trucks always win. Let's see what our morning walk-in music is going to be for today. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have myself a 